my channel. If you are new here, hey, how are you? We're so glad to have you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell so you're informed whenever we upload new videos and you can be part of our fam. If you read the title, we are using the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Infallible Foundation. It's not like a brand new foundation. I've just been really interested in trying this one. So Fresh Friday is gonna be a little bit different because usually I come to you guys with like my eyes and stuff already done. In my beauty haul video that I did, I had this like really nice bronzy eye look going on and I was sad that I didn't record it. So I figured for this foundation Friday, I would just do that look. Probably just gonna speed through and show you what colors I use and then I'll start talking when we get into the foundation. little pop in real quick I'm using this shade all over my lid but I would prefer not to do that I'm only doing that because that's what I did in the original eye look but even in the original eye look I decided afterwards that I didn't like I it. love the shade but it's just this shade and the shades that I used in my outer corner are just too similar that you can't really see where they differ so it kind of defeats the purpose of my cut crease if I was just doing it on my own I would probably choose one of these golds just to help separate the colors. Okay, back to the video. <laughs> This is the eyeshadow look. Um, I think it's really pretty, really nice and bronzy. I'm gonna go ahead and prime first and then we'll start talking about the foundation. The primer, you know I love the Elf Putty Poreless Primer. At one point I was using the Milk Makeup one. I had tried it with one foundation one day and because it's a gripping primer it's a little sticky and I think the foundation that I was testing out just did not like that primer. So I ended up using it with the Elf one and it worked out really nicely. So from now on, We'll just only be using the elf one. I'm also gonna spray my face with the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Spray. Absolutely love this. The claim for this foundation is that you're supposed to be able to wear it for 24 hours. It's supposed to be breathable and it's supposed to give you buildable coverage. And it also has a SPF of 25. It just came in like this, it didn't come in any other packaging. So I'll put the claims somewhere on the screen so we know exactly where it's supposed to be getting out of this. I had mine in the shade 485. When I got my package in the mail, I realized that this was gonna be too light for me. And I was gonna switch it out and return it, but I was like, I don't wanna go through the hassle. So, I'm gonna mix it with my NYX drops. The reason I originally didn't get the 490s and the 495s is because I was watching people's videos who had those shades, and I just feel like they were so orange. 485 is a really good undertone, but it's just not dark enough. You know, that looks good. Or am I blind? I mean, it looks like it's matching me. I'm doing it on the other side. Oh yeah, I feel like that matches. We're gonna go with that. So this is what it looks like on the back of my hand. It has very like liquidy consistency. It's not like super runny though, where it's too, oh my gosh y'all, I'm not a perfect foundation shade. I mean, it matches my face perfectly. My neck is obviously a little bit darker than my face, but I'll take it. We can bronze. It feels really nice. It does feel lightweight. Like, obviously it feels like there's something on my face, but it doesn't feel like heavy or thick and cakey. And the coverage on this is really nice. I will say, I don't have a whole lot going on with my skin. So I don't usually have like a lot of issues that I need covered up, but I do have a couple pimples right here and one of them was really red. I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but covered it up wow oh, it took me so 
so long to get this foundation. This feels and looks so nice. I mean, I'm not surprised. I had high hopes for this because a lot of people, I don't think I've seen a single bad review of this foundation when it first came out. I feel like everybody, all skin types, they love this. And I can definitely see why. Oh my gosh, this foundation looks so good. It looks like my skin, but like, it looks like I have a filter on my face. All right, so we're gonna go with concealer. Do my Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. This one's in the shade C9.5. Foundation, I just keep looking at it in the mirror. It looks so nice. And it's not like super dewy or anything. It's not gonna give you like a glowy look. But at the same time, it's not matte. Like, it, you still look like you have some life to your skin. Okay, L'Oreal. My face looks so smooth. Ignore my crusty lips. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, my teeth look... They look real white. Okay. Sponsor me, Colgate. Alright, so I'm just gonna go in with this Revolution Banana Powder. The I Heart Revolution banana powder that smells like banana lappy taffies. I'm gonna take this shade and this one on the eye. So I'm putting Sequoia Laguna and the Bay all mixed together. I think Mission, which is this like dark brown with a couple reflex in it. And I'm just gonna put this on the lower outer corner portion to help connect that dark shadow to bronze we are going to use a hula bronzer we're going to use it as a bronzer and a contour for blush we're going to use this ombre blush from nyx in sweet spring Start it on the apples and bring it back. And then a little bit on the nose. For highlight. <laughs> I'm so strange. But I love this Wet n Wild Wing Glow Highlight. You guys know I love this. So we're going to use this in Golden Flower Crown. If you still have not bought these, you need to get you one. In my opinion, these are even better than some of the high end. They are better than, they're better than the high end ones I own. Just because it's so affordable and it's so nice and it's super buildable but it doesn't like glitter on your face. So since we have the face done, I'm going to go off camera, do my brows and my eyes and my lip combo. So if you want to know what products I use, it's probably what I use all the time. But if you want to know, it'll be down in the description box. Alright guys, so this is the finished makeup look with brows, our eyelashes and our lip combo on. I think everything turned out really nicely um i really love this eye look i'm obsessed with this foundation it's currently 5 54 right now so i've had this on for maybe like 30 minutes at the most and i'm already obsessed with it i also did not set it with setting spray because you know usually i always set my makeup but because this foundation claims to wear for 24 hours even though i do have a primer on i just want to see how it'll wear without setting it but like I said, I really love this foundation. My face looks really smooth. It looks really natural. Nothing looks like heavy cake face. Like this is something that you could get away with wearing for every day. If you're someone who loves to wear makeup every day, a full face every day, this would be a really good foundation because it's not heavy on your skin. It really is breathable and it just, it doesn't really feel like you have anything on. And all of my other products went on top of it spectacularly, so. I have super high hopes for this, but I'll see you guys probably at like 10.30, maybe 11 o'clock. As I'm doing this video so late, I won't be able to wear it for a full like 8 hours because at some point I'm going to want to go to sleep. So, um, I'm going to wear this until like 10.30, 11 o'clock. And then I will be back to show you guys what we're looking like. Alright guys, so we're back for my final thoughts on the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And just like I thought, 
I love this. It is currently 11.30. Um, I started doing my makeup at 5, but I've technically had this on since like 5.25, 5.30 maybe. So I've had this on for a little over six and a half hours, which is not as much time as I wanted to wear this. I usually like to wear my foundation for at least eight hours, but um, we got a late start on this video. There's honestly not a whole lot of difference to my face. I really don't see anything that stands out. I'm really surprised at that, just because even though I did, I know I use primer, but I did not set this foundation at all. So if you're somebody who doesn't set your foundations or you don't like setting sprays or I don't know, whatever it is, you do not need to set this. Now, if you need to prime, I'm not sure. I have to test it without primer to let you guys know, but you definitely do not have to set this. And I have dry skin, so I don't know how that will work out for my oily girls. I would definitely agree 100% that this is a buildable, breathable foundation. My skin, it doesn't feel heavy. It just feels so light. Like even at one point, I forgot that I had makeup on and I started scratching my face on my nose and my chin. Like I was going to town and then when I realized it, I was like, but nothing. And I haven't touched up, I haven't added anything. And even though blush and bronzer does fade, my blush and bronzer is still there. My highlight is beaming. My eyeshadow looks really good. My brows look great. Like, not trying to hype myself up. But this foundation is where it's at. This foundation is so good. Like, this, I know I always say this, but not always, but recently with the drugstore foundations that I have been testing out, I always say, like, this is gonna be my new favorite. And I wear it all the time. And that has been true. Because it started with the Milani one and then with the Wet n Wild one and now this one. It's like comparing apples and oranges. But this one, out of all of them, I will say this is the most lightweight feeling one. And I think that's because this one is more on the liquidy side versus the other ones. They're a bit thicker. But this one is so lightweight and it just feels like there's nothing on my face. You both can tell that I have on foundation. But this foundation is so good. And my concealer went on great with it. There's no like... There's nothing going on here. And even though it's only been six and a half hours, there's no buildup around my nose, which is actually surprising because pretty much 98% of foundations end up building around my nose. So I wonder if it'll do that at all or how long it takes for that to happen. My smile lines look okay. There's not no creasing. There's like a little something here when I smile, but like on its own, there's there's no foundation lines. Ugh, I'm obsessed with this foundation. I think this is one of the few foundations that I've tested out in a while that I literally don't have anything bad to say about it. Like there's, I can't find anything wrong with this foundation. I would definitely agree that this foundation would probably work for every skin type because it's not matte, but it's not dewy. It's just natural. It doesn't feel cakey and heavy, but it's also not super liquidy and runny. It's just like the perfect balance of everything to work perfectly with all skin types. So if you have tried this foundation, let me know your thoughts. I really don't see anybody having an issue with this. L'Oreal, you did your thing. This foundation definitely gets my stamp of approval and if you don't have it and you have not tried it, I definitely recommend it. This, this foundation is definitely where it's at and it's drugstore. And it's affordable it is a little bit more expensive so if you are gonna get it i recommend getting it from target or maybe like cvs i don't even know how much cvs and walgreens charge the price point and the way it performs i'm not mad at it i have tons of other foundations to try but let me know if there's a specific foundation that you guys want to see um maybe i haven't heard of it or maybe it just didn't pique my interest but if you guys want to see it we'll put it to the test because that's what foundation fridays are for so as always i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.